this is my fire and ice dahlia painting guys today I've done this marvelous painting on a 10 inch round canvas with a split base so guys if you notice the base has two colors black and gray guys check out today's video you're gonna love it hello everyone it's Camille welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today I'll be doing a dahlia flower on a split base as you guys can see right now I've already gone ahead and done the gray side of the canvas it's a 10 inch round canvas and I've already completed um, the side so I'm just showing you guys how I cover the canvas with the two colors so I'm just using the blow dryer just to spread the paint um, you know across the canvas evenly this is very important because you really don't want to have too much paint on the canvas all right guys so you have to make sure that it's spread um, you know evenly across the canvas it will help to create that you know beautiful petals that you guys um, you know really want to achieve so it's very important to follow these simple steps I had this great idea of doing a hot and cold fire and ice uh, theme uh, dahlia flower so but I wanted to do it on a split base All right guys so as you can see I'm just layering the colors for the fire side which is going to be on the black um, base and then for the cold um, water um, ice uh, flower I'm doing it on the gray base guys all right so of course all the colors I'm using will be listed in the description box below you guys can check that out for a more in-depth um, tutorial um, instructions of how to really swipe your dahlia you guys can check out my video number 78 or video number 72 or even all my previous check out my playlist that has my dahlia series guys you will see that all my dahlias they they are done differently in terms of the shape or you know um, how much negative space is left on the canvas they're all done in their own unique ways but I do swipe them all the same I swipe um, you know outwards so and I do not put, apply too much pressure I you know I, I am as light-handed as I can be so if you guys really want to follow this be as light-handed as possible and just swipe outwards okay use the edge of the spoon or the side of the spoon to um, to swipe and of course as you can see I'm using the back of the spoon guys all right so the back side which is also the um, that side edge of the spoon as well guys so you guys just um, give it a try if you do want to um, learn this technique and of course guys I really want to say thank you thank you so much for checking out my channel I really do have great contents to share and um, if you would like to see more videos um, do go ahead give me a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so as yet share my videos with your friends and family all these things really do help my channel to grow and i'll be able to continue to do more of these beautiful paintings the fluid art or the acrylic pour painting that i'm doing right now guys it's just my thing um, i really do enjoy doing uh you know this technique you know once i had found out about the fluid art guys this is all i've been doing i really do enjoy doing uh, this beautiful technique or you know being in the fluid art and all of that guys I really do enjoy it so guys if you really want me to do like a custom piece on a bigger size canvas um, you can check out my description box you will find my email it's camilleamoy at gmail.com or you can follow me on my instagram camille.amoy.art also guys I'm on facebook so you guys can check that out as well who are considering to subscribe please go ahead and subscribe don't forget to hit that notification bell it's very important that you hit the notification bell so that you are notified each time I post a new video so go ahead and hit all after you have subscribed it's very important that you do that you know guys so I want you guys to stay with me follow and see the end result um, 
for the dread result i posted uh three ways which you guys can hang this one you know let me know which is your favorite so stay tuned for the close-up of the wet result and the close-up of the dried result at the end so guys i'll see you at the end <laughs> sorry guys before i go i just want to mention too you know just in case you don't get to watch any of my previous videos but this is very important that each time you swipe with the spoon you have to wipe that spoon all right guys so we we do use a clean spoon to swipe each time so you swipe with the outer edge of the spoon and then you wipe it so you guys can see that I'm wiping on a napkin there all right guys so go ahead and give it a try give me a thumbs up if you do like this one and of course I will see you guys for the close-up of the wet result and the dry result stay tuned
Here is a close-up of the wet result. What do you guys think about this one? I love it. Uh, I don't even know which side is my favorite, but I am just digging that fiery, you know, um, uh, side of the dahlia. You know, that bronze that I, sorry, not bronze, copper, metallic copper that I added uh, to this piece is so shimmery. I love it. And I love the center of the floor where I added the gold and the blue section oh my gosh it's beautiful but yes guys what do you think about this one let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite side guys let me know and here it is all dried i love it it dried well oh my goodness guys there's no finish to it like there's no sheen uh usually i normally um video my my end result without because you know sometimes it's so hard to show that finished result so i just wanted to show you guys you know let me know how you would hang this one would you hang it this would be option a you know or would you guys do like option b which is coming up now i just it's just beautiful whichever way you decide to hang this piece guys isn't this beautiful i love it colors are amazing oh my goodness i really do love how defined the petals are in this dahlia painting it's beautiful this would be the option c so whichever way you want to hang it guys it will be just amazing all right guys so i want to say thank you so much for checking out my channel and sticking with me to the end and of course check out my playlist and i will see you guys for my next video on camille amoy art Bye.